Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play, one that was honestly completely unplanned. It is Pokemon Blue, the original from 1998-96, depending if you were in Japan or in the Western world. Now, I am doing a long play of Pokemon Red at the minute, which is where I'm trying to do the full Pokedex. This one I'm not going to. I was originally going to do both games to get you know, the full Pokedex, but you can't trade with this emulator with Game Boy games. You can do it with advanced games, I believe, but you can't do it with the Game Boy games. It doesn't work. So I'm having to, like, effectively cheat to get the blue Pokemon in, in the red one. Now, what I should have done is, no, let's play a Pokemon Red and do a long play of blue if I was going to do that. Because then, you know, there's going to be a lot of grinding in Pokemon Red. I can cut it out, you know. Relatively easily enough, whereas in the long play, you're supposed to really keep that in. But. It is what it is. We've started the long play of Pokemon Red. It's the first part's gone up. And I figured there's not going to be a lot new on this channel anytime soon, apart from the one offs. So I'll get a Pokemon on there. Why not? Why not? So this is going to be, not a speedy one obviously, I'm not going to try and do it as quickly as possible, but I'm not going to bother with the Pokedex. Although one thing I am doing is, I'm going to try and use different Pokemon to what I use in Pokemon Red. I mean at the start, I'll probably have to use the same type ones anyway, because you're limited. Obviously in the first few routes you're going to get so many Pokemon. We'll get the potion that you should, you should get, because that makes sure you can beat the rival. Yeah, but especially once we get going, I will be trying to use different Pokemon as best I can. And the final team will be different. I won't be the final team from Red. I won't touch in Blue for the final Elite Four. The two different teams. Oh, my starter! Come on, we haven't got all day. Now, if you're not seen the long play, you wouldn't know what I started with. But in Red. Charizard's my favourite Pokemon, so I start with Charmander. So I'm either picking Squirtle or Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is the easier to start with, given how he's effective against the first two uh, gyms. But I prefer Blastoise. <laughs> and I'm playing Pokemon Blue. Yeah, so if, if I were to leave Green, I'll pick Bulbasaur then. So yeah, I'm going to go with Squirtle. I'll use Pikachu for... for, um, for Misty if I have to. Alright, uh, is the left one Squirtle or is that Bulbasaur? It's Charmander, okay. No, I don't. I've already got him. <laughs> I've already got that in the, uh, the long polite. So yeah, I might end up reusing some Pokemon, given how like Diglett is obviously very good against the Electric Gym. <laughs> I think that's the main grad of Pokemon you can get at that point. I guess there's also like Geodude and Onyx and all that. Uh, for the trade evolutions, I'll use the Randomizer if I'm going to use a trade evolution. In fact, I'm going to be using a trade evolution, because I have an idea what I'm going to use for my final party. And one of them is a trade evolution. Although, to be fair, it depends on what I do in red. But for now, it's time to kick our rival's ass. I'm, I'm gonna get confused with the names, because in Pokemon Red, I've done the opposite, so you know, I'm red and the rival's called Blue. Yeah, I just found Tackle. I know for the best. We have a potion, so we should win based on that. Server crits first on the CEO. Not like that. Unless Tackle can't miss. We do get the crit. Dangerous territory now though, because a crit might kill. That'll work. Get out of here, lad! What a time to use Growl. <laughs> Give me the XP. 
Can we go unbeaten in this run? To be honest, it's not that hard of a game. We should go unbeaten. <laughs> I'm not unbeaten in the lone blow. Misty beat me. Because I had, I had poison. I poisoned the star me, or star you, not star me. But it kept wiping me out in one hit, so it never took effect. It had like one hit left. Bloody annoying. Right, one thing we're going to get as well is the town map. Give me the map, please. Oh, fine. We'll head to the mark and get the poker next time. I mean, I'll probably catch a few off camera. I might try and complete it anyway, off camera, but I'm not gonna do a mental let's play of it. If I do a Gen 2 or any of the other gens, any of the other generations, then I'll do the complete poker next in the let's play, and then if I do a second one, I'll do that as a long play where I just play, I just play through the game. Like a different party. But that's for the future. I mean, a lot of that will depend on how this one does. Honest, if there's any interest at all. Because otherwise, I can just stick with the long plays. Because the long play channel is very much. I'm, I'm just gonna play what I want. <laughs> it was this channel that I do take views into account to some degree. I mean, it's still I will do what I feel like doing. But the views do make a difference to some degree. Basically, if it gets more than one, they'll get more videos. <laughs> the size of this channel. We're full blown to Stardew at the minute. We've got Tag Wars 07. You've got. Obviously, this game. Mild in 08. Mass Effect as well. I've not really got a new game on the channel. For a series, anyway, but that's what normally happens, anyway. Right, we'll heal Squirrel. Come on, Squirtle. Uh, the grinding for this, I will do off camera. That's why you'll notice the. Uh, if I do a thumbnail like I usually do, it'll be the white background to indicate an expedited series. So it's gonna be like a full blown thing. I'll show the roots and that, but I won't show anything right now. Cut, there'll be a lot of things I've cut out. Okay. Back to palette time again. And here we are. Here's your Pokedex, Professor Oak. And now I've got two levels out of it. I'm just that good. I did fight one more picture on the way back, but it was a level two. It wasn't worth showing. Well, it's not even a Pokedex, is it? It's the, uh... It's the, uh... It's the Pokeball that they showcase in the anime and just completely forget about. <laughs> So I think I kind of have a zero thing, it never gets touched on again. See, the problem is, when I play these games, I wish I the complete Pokedex. I'm going to end up talking myself into doing it, but if I don't do that, I'll be doing it off camera. I'll, at least I'll do a highlight package at the start. I don't think I will. I'm doing that on red. There's no point in doing it twice. Uh, yeah, we're we'll getting the town map, mate. We are getting the town map, All right? Where is she? Right now, will you please give me the town map? Yeah, I had to run an errand like ages ago, and then you refused to give me the map. Right, we need Pokeballs. Don't really want to fight until I get Pokeballs, if I'm honest. We don't need anything for, uh, um, for, for Brock, because we've, we've got Squirtles. As soon as Squirtle learns Bubble, we're fine. It's, uh, it's just for, um, the rival you can fight before, the gym. And, and the Mr. Really. Trying to think, who, who should, what, Pikachu? 
Realistically, Pikachu is the only strong type I think I can get. We can get Butterfree easy enough. I'm Beedrill, but in blue it's hard to get a Beedrill. So I believe that's one of those where it's like a... It's a rare spawn in blue, Weedle. But it's a common spawn in red and vice versa. Caterpie is rare. I know it's rare in red, but it's a common spawn in blue. Where's a little Cyber anyways over here? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm not going to activate the rival fight just yet, but I will get the other Pokemon from here. Yeah, that'll do. My plan is to use Nido King in the final fight for red, so Nido King is not on the table for blue, but Nido Queen is. I think Nido, Nido King's the better one, but. For red, the plan is Nido King's my utility guy. He's my tanky utility guy, because he can learn all sorts. He can learn my ice beam, surf, you know, punches, ground moves. You use the tail whip to compensate for all these growls. Goodness sake. Stop, stop spamming growl. I think in this game the AI is completely random. What they use. Trainers have like, actual logic. Wild Pokemon it is random. Can my attack even go any lower? Surely there's a limit. Attack. Oh god. Alright. Get on my tape. Get on my tape! There we go. Saying that, I will use the other king for some fights if I have to. Do not use a Pokemon red Pokemon really applies to maybe like Gym 8 onwards. No, I don't. I don't. I, no, no, I, I don't do the nicknames. I'm crap at names. Right. There's also Spearow here, and that's the better. That, that, that is the better bird Pokemon. Level two. Oh, I don't want a level two Pokemon. You're rubbish, mate. Get out of here. Oh, well, I want Spearow anyway. You got level four, level three. Is it worth the XP? I know Spiro is here. Because it learns Peck and that's actually useful. Nidoran isn't based on the uh, colour type either, is it, right? It's not like Nidoran males more common in red and females more common in blue. I just want the Spiro. Can I level 4? I'll take it. Level 3? You know, screw it, I'll take it. One more, just don't crit. It's only a rat I should do it. Should be an easy catch at this stage, there we go. We need, we need a decent team for um, Misty for sure. But I do want the spirit. Is that or Dodoro? I think Dodrio is is that the best bird? I know Pidgeot is the weakest. You know, that's one I do prefer you know, the design of, so that's the one I normally use. I'm sure Spiro's here. Am I going nuts? Nah, I've got this in red. I'm sure Spiro's here. Maybe the need around line it is the spawn is affected by the colour type, you know, what colour cartridge you have. Maybe uh, the males more common in red and the females more common in blue. I just got lucky in red because I've got the female straight after the male. Okay. 
Well, I think Nido Queen will be quite useful, to be fair. Then again, so is Rat Rat okay, it's actually decent for half a fan, if I'm honest. You can, it, it can do this. In the early game, it, it can be useful, if I'm honest. But it's Butterfree, that's a, that, that can come in clutch in the early game. In red, Butterfree and Gloom have been like my, my surprising, like, useful Pokemon. I think Butterfree gets that class towards the end. But for the early game, you can't really go wrong with it. Uh, I'll give up on Spiro for now. It comes up later in the game anyway. Easy enough. Right, we'll try and get some levels for our new Pokemon. Then again, I want to I I get Bubble, don't I? Realistically. Yeah, I use Squirtle, but when they use that Metapot and Cocoon, as I'll switch to the other two. Though I do want a Pikachu out of this. Thinking, thinking about it. I don't think the Pikachu is that rare. I'll take a Caterpie as well. Psychic. Butterfree is useful. Why is that the first thing? It should be Tackle. Damn it. No need for that. Thankfully it can only do one damage thanks to the Growl, so... We're fine. Don't quit again. Let's go. Welcome to the team. No, I do not. I do want Pikachu though. It's funny how the game's a mascot is that's just kind of hidden in Viridian Forest. I think the fairy was the original mascot. Come on. What's going on here? Thank you. Oh, it's Kakuna. The problem is, Kakuna's red and blue. But I'll wait for a Weedle. This might take a while. Yeah, I will skip. I want the XP, so I'll skip to the end. There we go. It should be decent XP because it's the level. You know, it's the evolution. Uh, for goodness' sake, an evolved form. So that's a middle evolution. Right. I will catch uh, Pikachu in that off camera. Let's fight. Okay, you don't want to fight. This guy does though, because he's a moron. This is where having Spiro will be handy here, because it knows Peck. Because obviously in red I have Charmander, I just burn all these idiots. But in blue I have Squirtle there. Don't, do not poison. For goodness sake. Oh, I don't have antidote either. That's a problem because he has two Pokemon, doesn't he? You're an asshole. That's what I'm saying, mate. You're a complete twat. I'm open between, you know. To be fair, if I'm lucky, I'll have a Metapod or a Kakuna. It's a level up at least. Bubble and Bubble. Ah, oh dear, okay. Well, that, that, that's, a, that's a gym fight sword. This is Shunida Ran. 
I think between the other three I've got, we should be okay. But what I'll do is, I'm going to use Growl so it can't do much damage to make sure that even if neither one fails here, I can clean up. Well, neither one is doing more damage than that. That's a waste because it already has the, uh, the speed advantage. I guess it helps against crit, without gem on works, I think. Let's keep it going. Well, we'll pass well, that's good. But a lot of the grinding I will do off camera. I'll show the training battles, because uh, they're the harder ones. There is an antidote in here somewhere, but... Unfortunately, Squirtle, he done for me. The Pokesex is going to be too far away, he's going to faint. And the friendship's going to go down. Is, th is friendship in Gem 1? Apart from yellow? I actually don't know. I like how the very first, you know, just the AI just conveniently gets the poison very, you know, just immediately. Uh, what I will do is I'll buy some antidotes. I should have done that before. Without, you know, spear out, we're kind of buggered. But I, I'm going to give it one more go. Give me a Spiro game. I won't peck. I'm like shot work of this stupid forest. Come on, Spiro. Ah, okay. It's worth a go. They are easy to catch later in the game, so. It's just useful for the forest. Alright, to the market. I'm gonna buy some antidotes. And I'll head back to the forest. Alright, we're back in the forest. I know there's an item up here, so I'm gonna get it. What is it? A oh, Pokeball. We'll take it. I could have just gone that way. Oh well. We want a Pikachu if we can get one. The game can be nice to us. No, I'll fight you. Give me your XP, mate. Give me your XP. But if you poison my Pokemon, I'll punch him in the face. Level 7 Weedle. That's a good career. Bubble lowers the opponent's speed, I do believe. Don't you dare, mate. Okay, I think it can. Okay, no poison. Okay, that's good. So I'll put me back in front. Can't poison me that easily. Kakuna. Caterpie, do the job. Not well, that forever, but we'll get some good XP for Caterpie. Because Butterfree can be useful though. It's, it's gonna spam harder, so I will just skip to the end of the fight. Because <laughs> it's, as you can see, this is gonna take a while. There we go. I should get some good XP at least. Yeah, there we go. two levels, we'll take that. Uh, back to Weedle, which means Squirtle, you're coming back out, lad. No poison just yet, we'll use bubbles to try and lower the speed in case it uses string syrup. No speed drop just yet. Oh, 
Oh, he's just shot as well. He wanted the uh, the speed drop. Okay, I think we're getting away with it. No poison for us. I think this will do it. There we go. Squirtle needs as many levels as it can get because it will be the one thing I use against Brock. It's Squirtle or Bust, my friends. It's Squirtle or Bust. Right, what's up this way compared to that way? An item! Well, that's, 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 that's the antidote. That's the way out. Because it goes down and back up, doesn't it? Okay. There's less trainers in here than I remember the main, to be honest. Should be two more, right? Because one at the bottom here. Oh, no, just one. It's just, just the one guy. This idiot, this idiot, that's just, just, just chilling at the end. What's the hurry? What's the hurry, mate? Is that, I've, got, I've got a badge to win, mate. Level 9 Weedle. Could be a tough fight. Try and counter the uh, string shot. Thankfully it fails. We didn't get the speed drop. Did we get it this time? We got it. It's still first, thanks to the, uh, the speed drop from Bubble. Okay, speed dropped again. and use Poison Sting. No, uh, no poison. Didn't matter because he had the thing anyway. The speed dropped twice. On level 10. Is that enough for Brock? I think with the type advantage, probably, so... Yeah, the wild Pokemon spawn rate is quite low, isn't it? <laughs> I just went through the entire thing without one more battle. Once I, once I came back in. And there's Diglett Cave. Alright. I'm going to try and do the gym straight away here. But again, it's the rival fight available. I just realised, I don't think that the rival fight on champion on the champion route is available after you beat Brock. Now that I think about it, do I care? <laughs> do I care? It's an optional fight. I've done it in the uh, the long play anyway. It's fine. We'll, we'll move on. I'm not going back to Viridian Forest to do that, to, to, uh, do that again. Give me two potions. Alright, Brock, let's go. Well, let's we'll take care of his minions first. Oh, it's one minion. I think he has one. Yeah. I know how to win. How do you do it then? Yeah. Why are you telling me this after we've had some battles? You've already told me, mate. I like how you say no, and he still does it. Jesus. There we are. Come on, you. Give me the XP. No, I'm not, mate. I have Squirtle. This ain't yellow, this ain't red, this is blue. Hey, I have Squirtle. Ooh, Diggler! I was, I was expecting Geo, dude. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Critical hit as well. At least it's not Slash, which in this game, in Gen 1, Slash is basically a guaranteed crit. I haven't had Charizard. Well, that's fail, you Slash. Level 11. Level 11. Oh, yeah. Level 11. You twat. I hate that move. Oh, 
It's my ball 100% and tackle 95. Okay, good. Obviously, before I stand the attack. Uh, level 12, that'll do. I will level up my other Pokemon. Oh, off camera. It's just Gym 1 Squirtle is just going to clean house. I think in Pokemon Red, it took me like two hours to uh, find the beat Brock. In, in this game, it's going to take me, what, 40 minutes? Because <laughs> of Squirtle versus Charmander. Too far. Well, where's the Poké Centre in here anyway? Is it further up? Oh, it's, it's below the gym, isn't it? It's below the, below the gym. I was literally there, wasn't it? Yeah, here it is. Alright. Heal, please. We have potions if we need it. But I think. We're gonna be okay. As long as he doesn't spam by or something. Let's find out. Come on then, Brock. I want your badge, mate. Yeah, I do, man. I, I, I have water. Your defense means nothing to bubble. Not some modest if I get a shirt. Geodude trying to act all cool. Get out of it. Oh, it survived it. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Gonna have full health against Yonix. Good news for us. Go and level up. That's yeah, all the Squirtle. Oh, sweet. Okay. Over half damage, so. Oh, it did. Oh, no. It's not bright. Bind. There's one that's like a wrap. Like, it's better. Bind. It's bind. Not bind. It's bind. There we go. Squirtle cleans house. <laughs> Easy. There we are. Badge one of eight. Already got. Already got it. Nice and easy. And we can use Flash, which is the HM we don't really need to use, but it makes your life easier. Gotta be careful with your TMs. Unlike in newer games. In newer games, it's a lot more convenient. Whereas in older games, you have to be, you know, be careful and plan your moves so careful. I keep forgetting what the Pokemon Center is in this game. Alright, we'll heal. Do we need to do it? Do we get a hit? I don't think we did, but... But anyway, I'm gonna catch some more Pokemon off camera. I'll do some grinding off camera, so, you know... Try and get some of these to like level 10, so Caterpie might be Butterfree at that point, you know. Get Nidoran to level 10 at least. I'll probably catch a Pidgey, try and get a Weedle in, things like that. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.